I think that you're going to see a uh, essentially a, a strong continuity between the new government and the prior governments relative to the tech economy. Let's let's remember that Naftali Bennett is not just a tech entrepreneur. By the way, full disclosure, I was his seed money investor in his first company, Sciota, uh, back over 20 years ago. So that uh, I know Naftali very well, and he's a very talented uh, CEO and a talented uh, manager and, and charismatic and, and passionate. Um, but he also comes from a strong pro-American background. He, his parents uh, lived in America. His English is perfect and native. Uh, he is uh, a right winger. Okay, he is a leader of a party which was ostensibly to the right of uh, Netanyahu. He's a religious man, the first uh, 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 prime minister in Israel's history to wear a yarmulke. He served in the same elite commando unit as uh, Netanyahu, and he actually got his start working for him uh, after he left technology and went into politics. So I would expect that you'll see much more continuity in terms of uh, technology and many other things than you'll see a lot of uh, uh, immediate change. John, I mean, it all sounds great, but how long do you think that this coalition is actually going to last? Uh, that's uh, a way beyond my pay grade. Uh, I, I, it's really hard <laughs> to tell. It's a, it's a razor thin uh, majority, 60 to 59, sort of uh, reminiscent of what's going on in the U.S. Senate. Um, and uh, it, this gives enormous power to any renegade member of parliament. Uh, last night, it was a nail biter when one of the members of the Islamist party uh, said he was uh, not going to support the coalition. Initially, he stayed out of the meeting, did not vote. He ultimately abstained. Uh, but uh, this is, uh, you know, a, a very narrow coalition at the moment, united in their desire to move Netanyahu aside after his historic 12-year run as prime minister. But they all agree that Israel's technology sector is sort of like the golden goose that keeps on giving out these golden eggs, and they don't want to do anything to hurt it, the opposite. Right now, Israel's tech economy is booming. Uh, this year, we're on track for $20 billion of investment coming into Israeli startups. That's up from $10 billion last year. So you've got a whole ecosystem which is increasing at over 100% growth. I mean, that's hyper growth for a company. It's never been seen before in terms of a country's overall tech sector. 